Next to a shocking sight. Imagine seeing this over downtown Toronto. It was not a movie stunt, but a construction site oh mishap. A worker left dangling from a crane. This would have been what his view was from high above. Simply terrifying. And thankfully tonight he's back on the ground as we learn more about what happened. CTV's Andrew Brennan joins us live from Front and Simcoe with the details. Andrew. Well, Michelle, imagine just above me, this, this is 100, if not 300 feet, give or take, in the air of a 46-story building, a terrifying experience. And one construction worker that works on the site says in the 30 years he's been in this business, he's never seen something like this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hanging on for dear life as his co-workers tell him not to let go. <laughs> he lets out a chilling scream before his hard hat drops eight stories. He's on the ground. He started from the ground going up, so that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. On the ground below, the videos captured and shared widely shocked and awed. Holy crap. Oh, my God. You see construction all the time. That should never happen. Looking down to death, man. Oh, my God. How the f*** did this happen? The company overseeing construction tells CTV News an incident took place at our site located at Front and Simcoe yesterday involving a rigger who got entangled with a tagline after hooking a load. Fortunately, he was safely lowered to the work surface and not seriously injured. A safety consultant says a number of things could have gone wrong, but there are checks and balances that are supposed to catch dangers before they happen. Knowing the scale, the size and scope of what that company does, all the processes, all the programs and procedures and policies would have been there. An inspector has been called to the site and the Ministry of Labour, Immigration, Training and Skills Development confirms an investigation has been opened. We, we reached out to the company that employs this man to try to get an update on his condition and the extent of these minor injuries to see how he's doing now. We've heard no reply. That being said, the construction workers that work here and in other buildings nearby have been talking amongst themselves. Reportedly, this man tried to reach for his own two-way radio and was unable to get it, and it fell and, le and left him dangling with no one to be able to shout to help to except for screaming as loud as he could. Reporting live, I'm Andrew Brennan. Andrea, back to you.